No crossing routes here, inside. One-handed grab by Kenny Bell, and he's in! Sports Center top 10 on the score for Bell. What an effort to go up and snag this with his right hand in between four defenders. That's just Velcro. Go up and get it, young man. Are you kidding me? It was, quite frankly, the catch of the weekend. Nebraska's Kenny Bell, a brilliant one-handed grab, and then the run into the end zone against Illinois. Kenny Bell joins us now from our studio in Lincoln. And, Kenny, before we look ahead to your game against Purdue, we have to look back to that play because it was just outstanding. Take us through it and what was going through your head, both when it happened and then in the immediate aftermath. Um. Let's see. Well, before the play, I knew it was a great play. Coach Beck made a good call. Um, Purdue, or excuse me, Illinois actually defended it really well. I ran a quick little hitch and go. Um, Tommy delivered a, a solid ball, really, where I was either going to catch it or I think it was going to be a little bit overthrown. And really, I jumped up for it. It uh, stuck in my hand. I got pretty lucky, I'd have to say. Uh, just trying to make some plays like uh, the other uh, Big Ten receivers. We've got some great receivers in the Big Ten. Um, our room definitely looks up to others. Uh, but, yeah, I was just trying to make a play for my team. Kenny, what's been the most impressive thing that, that Tommy Armstrong has demonstrated since he's started a quarterback? I'd have to say his resiliency and his poise. Uh, for a young guy to come in and make plays at the quarterback position that he's making at, or that he's making this year is pretty impressive, especially coming from a, from a guy that's pretty young and has watched a, uh, an older guy like Taylor really make plays over the past four years. Uh, that's got to be pretty intimidating, know that, knowing that you got to come in and start, and the expectation level around here is pretty high. So for him to uh, make the plays that he's making uh, with the confidence that he's making them uh, is really impressive to me. Hello, Kenny. Now, along those lines, how much extra time have you put in with, with Tommy and Ron, for that matter, it, whether it be in the film room or after practice? Are you getting extra time with those guys, being that they're new quarterbacks? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we harp on... Uh, you know, when one guy goes down, we can't we can't miss a beat. And uh, I think that we've done a really good job preparing all three guys throughout not just this season, but throughout the summer. I've gotten a lot of reps to go with all those guys this year. Nebraska wide receiver Kenny Bell with us here on BTN Live. Dave Revson, Chuck Long, and Jerry DiNardo. Kenny, how much does the fact that you can go back to Indianapolis this year, motivate the team, and how much do you guys talk about it in, in the locker room, maybe when there's no coaches around, getting back to Indy? Uh, amongst the guys that have played a lot of football around here, that's really our number one goal. Uh, it's a, that's a big thing for us this year, uh, to get back to Indy and uh, make it right, especially because we still got a bad taste in our mouth after last year. Uh, we, we, we suffered a tough loss in Indy. Wisconsin put it on us, and hats off to those guys. They're a great team again this year. Uh, we look up to their receivers in their room. But that's, that's a huge goal for us. It's something that we're harping on pretty big as players. Obviously, when you hear it from the coaches, it's, the coaches want it bad, just as bad as the players. But, I mean, as players, we're, we're really trying to get there. Uh, but we, we got a tough road in front of us. How has your practice week been going, going into this Purdue game? Uh, it's been like... Uh, every other week, really. Uh, I think it's important to really stay, stay the course, you know, stay on the process of uh, trying to get better every week. And it doesn't matter who you're playing. Uh, a lot, that's been the number one question I've been asked this week is how do you stay focused when uh, you're playing Purdue? And uh, I never get caught up in that. Uh, those guys are Division One college football players just like me and just like the guys on my team. They're great athletes. They, everybody can make plays. So I would never say you know, we're not, we're tuning it back this week. We're, we've been getting after it, that's for sure. Hey, Kenny, we have not spoken to you since the surreptitiously recorded tape of Coach Pelini went public. I'm just interested in what the reaction was among the players on the team. How did you guys deal with that when you kind of had a little bit, uh, crisis might be a strong word, but you certainly had a lot of talk going on outside the team. Yeah, that was a, that was a frustrating time for us uh, to see your to see your coach kind of attacked like that. Uh, it's hard to describe how upset I was about it. Uh, the timing of it was just it was it was a bad it was a bad week. It's a tough week. Um, but I think it also showed the the mental toughness and resiliency we have as a staff and as a as players because we went out and played one of our best football games we played the week after 
it's upsetting and it's disconcerting just to see uh just to see that kind of malicious attempt to you know towards the downfall of a man and a, and a and a very exceptional coach you know coach Pelini has changed my lives my life in more way than one uh he's developed me into the man i am today and i couldn't thank him enough for it and i couldn't love him anymore well said kenny bell nebraska wide receiver always a pleasure kenny thanks a lot for taking the hey, time really appreciate you guys having me i really do thank you